Welcome to the Thursday, October 24th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, cash cattle prices hit record highs, and later, the chicken leg quarter market sees its values tumble. Now, with how a major pork packer is helping to fight childhood hunger, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Smithfield Foods and its subsidiary, John Morrell Food Group, have partnered with nonprofit organization Share Our Strength to work on eliminating childhood hunger in America. Through the No Kid Hungry campaign, the organizations will connect food insecure households across the country with budget friendly and health oriented nutrition programs. Additionally, Smithfield and John Morrell will donate at least $150,000 now through October of 2014 as part of their commitment to the cause. You can read more about Smithfield's anti-hunger campaign along with other Center the Plate protein news at foodmarket.com. In other news, cash prices paid for cattle hit new highs in yesterday's trading. Here is Ernerberry Newswire's Michael Ramsay with the details. Yesterday, record high prices were reported in the live and dressed U.S. cash cattle markets as the smallest cow herd since 1952 has resulted in tight supplies with slaughter-ready cattle. According to Ernerberry Newswire's Kurt Thacker, yesterday's all-time record high cash prices for cattle were traded between $132 and $133 per hundredweight on a live basis in Kansas and Texas. Meanwhile, dress sales in Kansas were $208 per hundredweight as of press time. The previous highs in the live and dress markets were recorded at $130 and $206 per hundredweight, respectively, in March 2012. Thacker attributed the record prices to drought-induced tight supplies of slaughter-ready cattle. Following the 2011 and 2012 droughts in key producing states, ranchers were significantly forced to trim their herds. The resulting cow herd in January 2013 was the smallest on record since 1952. And while pasture conditions have improved amid more favorable grain prices this year, ranchers have retained more heifers for breeding. According to Thacker, this attempt Attempts to rebuild the herd led analysts to limit their 2014 projections of cattle available for slaughter, keeping supply spins tight for next year. Comtel customers can read more about yesterday's record high cash cattle prices along with other beef industry market news and notes by clicking the news link under the red meat tab. Thanks, Michael. We wrap up today's show with Ernerberry Chicken Market reporter Terrence Wells with the latest tumble in chicken leg quarter values. Over the last month or so, leg quarter values have been on a steady decline. In fact, values for the entire dark meat boning complex have been dropping for quite some time now. Recently, when we've analyzed a drop in value of a particular chicken item, we've more than likely also mentioned the increases in production currently in place. However, in this case, there's more to it. Export demand from our northern and southern neighbors has noticeably diminished. Some Canadian buyers have reached their quota limits, causing them to back off, while at the same time, Mexican buyers are becoming a bit more price sensitive. When the AI scare wiped out Mexican poultry production for a number of months, U.S. chicken export business couldn't have been any better. But at the same time, the U.S. was also sending its chickens to Mexico to help replenish devastated hatchery flocks. Well, fast forward a few months, and those flocks are now in full production, reducing the amount of U.S. product that's needed, while at the same time diminishing its value. For more U.S. chicken news and market analysis, head over to Comtel and click on the poultry tab. Thanks, Terrence. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.